Chapter 13, Part 1. In this chapter, we're going to look at direct and indirect object pronouns. Now, let's review by looking at what are direct and indirect objects in English first. So, direct objects receive the action of the verb directly. There's nothing between the verb and the uh, action. Uh, il parle le français. He speaks French. We've seen that a million times. And there's no preposition in French or English between speaks and French. So we can say French is a direct object of the, um, of the verb. Indirect objects receive the action of the verb indirectly. In English, through the verb to, no, through the preposition to, he, o, and in French, through the preposition a. So, il parle à son ami, he speaks to his friend. So his friend is separated by speaks by the word to and by a. So this is a direct object, no preposition, uh, uh, indirect object separated by the preposition a or to. So let's look at the uh, direct object pronouns. If we have the sentence, je parle le français, I speak French, we can replace French with a pronoun and in French we put it before the verb. Since it's a masculine singular noun, we'll replace it with le. Je le parle. I speak it. Il finit les livres. He finishes the books. We want to replace les livres with a pronoun, and it'll go in front of the conjugated verb. Il les finit. He finishes them. So here's a list of the direct object pronouns. Most of the time they're the third person, but sometimes they're the first or second person, like me is me, te is you, le la is him, her, or it. And if the direct object is the same as the um, subject, we use se, the reflexive uh, uh, pronoun. And that would mean oneself, or we would smooth it out any other way. For plural, nu is for us, vu is a pronoun for you, le for them, um, and then se, once again, but it's not plural for uh, the reflexive, but we would translate it in the plural as themselves. So here's some e examples. Il me voit, he sees. So this is the present tense, third person singular of voir. He sees me. He sees you. He sees her or it. Il se voit. That would be he sees himself, like looking in the mirror. Il les voit, he sees them. So here's some exercises, some real simple ones to give you a little practice. Write down your answers and check them with the next video.